All right, piss and vinegar day 197, leg day. So I built a little platform so I can get more range of motion on this. Still can't get as much range of motion I'd like. I'd like to get like fucking hella deep to the point where I can't even hit the bottom of this thing. But uh, I think if I made this any higher, I'm kind of like at the max capacity, like any higher, oh, maybe a few more. Yeah, maybe like an extra two inches and I'm smacking into that thing. So this thing's kind of flawed in, in its design, but uh, for now this will do until I can figure some other way around it. <sighs> yeah, warming up. Oh man, I just want more range, man. If I go wider stance, I can get more deep. idea for just getting a little bit more range of motion and it's modular so I'm just gonna build this real quick I'm gonna build this right quick oh man that might not work actually do some goofy building I was building like this all day just fucking doing the dumbest shit to try and be able to build because I got one arm that can't fucking lift anything <laughs> And then like there. This is a theoretically slightly dangerous design. All right, that holds in place. An extra inch and a half of range of motion. Every inch, every inch counts, right guys? The thing is, one day, there'll be a local headline saying, this breaking news, a local man found dead with 15 different pieces of homemade pieces of gym equipment stuck in his body. But it'll be worth it because I'll be, you know, I'll die doing the thing I love. That extra like inch or two can make the difference. We're hitting, we're hitting the cervix now. Man, it's so much harder too. Holy shit. And my knees don't feel as bad. Seems sturdy enough. The other good thing is I get more out of less weight. So I find personally, unless I go like a deep stretch on my quads on, you know, quad exercises like squats, I get pain in my knees, like stopping prematurely. There's something about that joint angle that just hurts my patella or something in my knees. But, you know, almost uh, opposite of what you would think when I go full range, no pain. I feel like I get the full elastic limit of that tendon or ligament, and that's how it functions better on me. So 
I'm also repping my knees. Uh, this is something I'm not a huge fan of, you know, cryptid lifting, and it's got nothing to do with that. It's more just uh, from a bodybuilding perspective, the less you can feel your joints being a limitation or painful or a little bit naggy, the more you can just, on the, at the very least, focus mentally on the set. So I'm gonna start wrapping my knees, even though I'm using fuck all weight. And as I just said, because I'm doing more range of motion, I don't have to use as much weight. I'm a big fan of not having to use as much weight. I haven't wrapped my knees in ages. Is that it? Will I even get full rum that way? Oh, that's digging real bad. All right. Fuck it, let's just give it a go. See what happens. Nah, dude, that fucking hurts so bad. How do people wrap their knees for us to grass work? All right, that's a little looser. That's how I've spent the last fucking five, 10 minutes wrapping my knees. Uh, let's see if this is too painful. I think wrapping your knees is more just for powerlifting, really. But I have seen Tom Platts and Dorian Yates and guys who do after grass hack squats wrap them. So maybe I'm just a fucking pussy, but it does hurt. Fuck it, every time, man. It gets me every time. Yeah, that's a bit more reasonable. Oh, I didn't even put the music on. Fucking dumb cunt. Ah. 
Ah, fuck. What's wrong with me? I started building on that thing before I did leg leg exercise or leg hack squat, and like I don't know, just when I start building shit, I can't. I just get fucking in a in a, in a mood where I just can't stop building shit. I turn into Bob the Builder, so I fucking put these over. I forgot how difficult it is to do this one. Move, move. Fuck, fuck off, cunt. I'm trying to do hamstring kills, man. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? All right. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I got it. God damn. I feel like my camera's too dark. I don't know why. After this workout, I'm gonna try and fix it. Anyway, hamstring curls. Well, did not done the hamstring curls. Now it's onto the Romanian. Oh fuck, what am I even saying, dude? I'm just coming up with words. Fucking, what are these ones? Nordic curls. There's so many fucking stupid, fucking Slavic fucking eastern block names for fucking leg exercises romanian curls oh, sorry fucking romanian deadlifts bulgarian split squat nordic curls what else you got it's just like fucking just come up with some normal names anyway what was i going to talk about oh yeah th uh, fucking third space i don't know i just came on instagram the other day today and i saw this thing called third space and um, it was like all these like really city type people talking about it. Like people that like 
drink Starbucks and I really, actually no, anyway. They were talking about third space and I was like, what the fuck is third space? Like I thought maybe a bunch of like city left wing types had like started getting sleep paralysis or something. I don't know, like it was like third space, like something to do with the third eye or like astral projection or some shit. Cause you know, when I think about thirds, if someone says, have you experienced third space? I'm like, yeah, yeah, like sleep paralysis. Like when you wake up and you can't move and fucking like, you know, this, the dark elves are like molesting you or whatever. But they were like, that wasn't what it was. It was something else. It was like, they're talking about how we have work home and then we like work and then you have home, which is like friends and family. And then there's third space where you go out in the community and talk to people. And we don't do that anymore, which, you know, funnily enough, I thought about it. I'm like, we kind of don't do that anymore. Um, and this like movement, I guess, could be pretty rad, I suppose. But I don't know, everyone that was talking about it was kind of lame. Like there's nothing wrong with these type of people. I don't know, it was just, they're just kind of lame. Um, and then when I think of third space, I just think about, if we're talking about a, a community context, not like a, uh, I can't breathe them in sleep paralysis context. I think about church, like that's where you go to for third space. That's where you, that's the best place to go for this thing is where you like you hang out with random strangers or whatever, go to third space. But I guess church eventually you get to know everybody. Whereas the third space would be random strangers, but I don't know, it's kind of weird. I need to look more into it. This is part one of third space. I don't know, like I just, it seems cool because after COVID we're all so, you know, socially, um, uh, it's like no one just does anything. No one goes out anymore. So it would be good. It could be good healing process for post COVID shit. I think it, it really would be good for left wing people too, because that's everyone that seemingly was talking about it was like left wing people because they don't have God. So they don't go to like church or, you know, even if it's not church, they just don't like go into nature and do like, you know, what would otherwise be right wing things, I guess, suppose. I don't know. Like, I don't like looking at it in these political, uh, dogmatic ways and I don't particularly have anything against left-wing people it's like I'm just saying like on average it seems like they are very lonely and isolated so it'd be good for them to go talk to people especially if it was like everyone goes there and we just like converse about different topics I mean people just don't talk in person anymore everyone argues online it's like no I'm right I'm right you're wrong and it's like just go in person and chat to someone you get a way different cont contextual experience so It'd be cool. I guess it'd be cool if they open up some third spaces. I don't even know what the fuck that means. It sounds like some cult shit or like some 1984 or like some communist shit. I don't know. It sounds weird. It's like third space. I don't know. It's weird, but anyway, I'm going to look more into it because the concept could be really cool, I suppose, if it was like this big social movement where everyone starts going to third space and yapping. Uh, yapping is another word I learned today was someone said, you know, oh, blood's yapping. And I said, what does blood, blood yapping mean? And it meant like blood as in like black guys in England, that's the way they talk to each other. Like, hey blood, give me your money blood. I'll stab you blood. Like that kind of thing. Like they call each other blood. And then yapping. So like when you're talking too much, which is probably what I'm doing right now. So let's do some Nordic curls. Third space. abs, bit of rectus abdominis, um, and what else? Oh, 
I need to start training my spinal erectors. I haven't been doing that directly like a fucking lazy bastard. So I'll go over into the pitch darkness and do the, do some hyper extensions because I feel like my spinal erectors aren't super strong. And then I'll do some leg raises in my house as ever, manual resistance with my girlfriend pushing my legs down manually. I, I keep forgetting to record it. Maybe, or maybe I'll really remember this time to record it or maybe not. Oh, put some music on. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 